Let's run it. All right. Welcome back to Cincy Loco One Live. It's Randall Pink. Cincinnati Todd. And the one and only Mr. 364. Yo, welcome back. Um, back. You're from... Uh, Southfield, Columbus, Ohio. Southfield. I knew it. I knew, I knew, I knew. Shout out CO. Got some real ones in CO. Welcome back. Appreciate y'all for having me. A couple months ago with Sick in the Second. Shout out Sick in the Second. Shout out Sick. Um, Why don't you uh, give us a little recap of uh, what you got going on and what you're about? Uh... Uh, I'll start from the second question first. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my name is Young Smith, a.k.a. Mr. 365, uh, CEO of We Promo USA Entertainment Group. Uh, we market, promote, manage artists. Um, I do a little bit of everything. Um, throw events, um, tour management, websites, you name it in the entertainment in, in, in business, we a one-stop shop. So that's just a little bit about my brand, with, um, what I do. Um, I manage a lot of a lot of dope independent talent and a couple celebrities you might have heard of. Um, but yeah, we just here. We just push the cost for push the cost forward. That's all we do. Right on. So you're kind of like a marketing promo agent um, for these bands and artists. Yeah, I'm like the hip hop Jerry Maguire. Oh, well said there. Yeah. Show me the money. Maguire. Like yeah. Show for those young cats money. that don't know Jerry Maguire, you better go look that up. Yeah, it's like when you're ready to get shown the money, you call me. Mm. Well sure. said. Well, that's kind of like what we're here as well for, to help people like yourself, uh, give them a tool, give them an asset, yes. um, whether it's booking events, finding events, um, looking events up and stuff like that. So that's what Cincy Local and Live is truly about. And we're excited to promote our app and get our app where we need to get to, to help yourself. I don't know how many people been on here before me, but I can't wait till this app comes out. Sure. I'll be the number one person on it. They're going to be like, yeah. right, who is this guy? Just oh, yeah. know if you ain't if you don't know about the app, um, this ain't they ain't pay me to say this, but y'all better get the dang on app. Yeah, I'm just telling you that now. Everybody who has been on since he local and live in a sense, you know. So to just develop your craft, it's the smartest idea. And it's it's nice to have an input like yourself because you kind of tell us where the struggles are, which I'm hoping to pick your brain a little bit, like where what your job is as far as trying to find these uh, venues and promote events. Um, that's a good question. It's really the disconnect, man, of the culture for real, and I, and that's every aspect from the venue to maybe the artist and uh, the promoters. And it's a collective because the venue most of the time isn't coming out their own pocket to book independent artists. You know what I'm saying? They they might do celebrities and come out there and do that thing. But when you got promoters coming in, bringing the crowd, it's a disconnect because the bar only care either they char- charging a certain amount for you to rent this venue out or they're going to let you do it and they get so much at the door. But it's all about numbers at the end of the day. Um, Who do you see the biggest problem? The problem is everybody not um, the promoter. Everybody got to eat. So the venue's cool. Once I get paid what I need to get paid, I think the disconnect comes from the promoters and the artists. Some of the artists not having proper management or representation and just being first time learners of this business. And then when they find out the business, I think that's the disconnect. The promoters trying to squeeze every red cent out these people that's really struggling and trying to promote their craft. That's where the disconnect is at. So me, what I do is try to find a happy medium between the both. I try to make the artist feel like they post the feel, appreciate it, try to uh, make the event worth something for people that's bystanders and spectators to actually want to come out and see these cats. An experience. An experience. So, you know, it's just a vibe. I just create the whole vibe. So I see what everybody does. And then even my own mistakes, I see what I could have did better. I'm going to do this this way. So I think, you know, that's the biggest disconnect. The promoter might not care um, long as I can make my money back at the end of the night. And then the artists, you know, they get in short change because they just want to present their talent and show their craft. And, you know, um, a lot of people get shortchanged and, trusting in this promoter and then I might not have got to perform at the end of the night. Right. And I paid you money. Yeah. And it's definitely a two way street on that. And that's where, again, we come in handy and be that tool. You know, our logo, our slogan is music and venues become one. And so we're kind of breaking that stigma of this venue charges this either at the door and they get their cut or, Hey, you pay to have this spot 
we're totally trying to amplify the artist bringing in the talent, like bringing in the artist's talent and then being able to utilize that talent to give back to that artist, you know, and to the venue themselves. I mean, that's dope. Like I said, I applaud y'all for what y'all doing. It's definitely going to make someone like myself, um, my day a little bit easier because I would do more shows and I would do more for artists because I do this everywhere, every city and every state I'm in. Um, I got connections and people that I deal with, but just having a, um, a situation that I'm able to tell my friends in those cities, in those states, hey, lock in with this app. Let's do some look what venues are, or these are the venues I see. Which one of these should we go with? Right. You know, it just it just bridges a gap. You know what I'm saying? And it just it's another link to the culture, I think, right now that's needed because everything is really changing around, getting more digital and technical and everything. So to have a platform or something like that definitely will benefit myself and then my artist as well. Man, my my artists do well. They sell tickets. Um, they, they got a good fan base. Uh, we're able to travel and do it. So um, something like that would definitely help my artists as far as getting them in the light of the opportunities that y'all do present on there with me getting them booked and, and being able to do that. That's the biggest thing for me is going to help me and also be able to push other artists as well and tell them about the platform and why they should be a member or log on and, you know, well said. Yeah. Filling the gaps. Well said. That was well said. Uh, filling the gaps for that is important that it is what Cincy Local and Live ultimately yeah. does. Um, shining that light you bring the energy we shine the light on it yeah so where you can come and see a profile and be able to tap in with someone's music or even know what that math is that they want in reference to booking someone right or even with the venue it, it's dope it's almost like when you see um some of these tiktok videos social media posts and you see these different platforms that that, that, that are breaking artists however they're breaking them this is one of them things where like, where you might see a talent first, Ooh, he's doing this, or you might see their profile and be like, Oh, that would go good here. So like yeah. I said, from a promoter or a venue that's booking artist standpoint, it gives you, and it gives you the fresh talent. I, I think I'll plot myself on that too. I, I break a lot of talent when they first, I, when I see it, like he, she going to be somebody. Right. You got he that here. So yeah. I, I kind of like, you know, invest myself more into those situations. Uh, if you if you look at my roster of artists that that I manage, they're all it's well rounded. You, there's no like, oh, he sounds like him. Everybody's their own person. So I pride myself into knowing what I know. And with that being said, we were talking about that before, like about your key ear to the artists that you have and that you're managing and stuff like that. And you got side by side. Mm -hmm. Um well-rounded, very well-rounded, very talented people that you got going on through. I appreciate that because it gets downplayed so much. Like oh, nobody no. really tells the truth. <laughs> See, that's where we are. See, <laughs> nobody really says what the obvious is. It's hard like, to get that. Yes. And I think that's where the gap in where we use mm -hmm. and the artist gets connected by Cincy Local and Live because I hear a lot of people say that. It's so much hate here. It's so much hate there. And I try to explain Ohio. for them. The, your demographic group is for you. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is for what they're for. Whatever right. they want. It's a choice. And I tell, oh my God, bro. I tell people, promoters, I see people complain, even artists, such and such ain't supporting me or such and such ain't, you know, the people that are going to support you, they're going to support you. They've been supporting you. Yep. Everybody else that going to come in and follow or chime in, they're going to come in or, or leave when they want to because they wasn't there for, for the genuine purpose anyway. Right. So what's for you, I definitely believe in what you just said. With that being said, um, we're so much on the two-way street to where you you bring the artists themselves have a crowd, right? And so they get to bring their crowd. We send a push notification for their crowd, not to mention on the venue side, they have their own crowd If on the promoter side. And so we just have a smorgasbord of all of these different crowd types. And that's really going to promote those numbers that the venues are looking for. Okay, so if you want to know, tap in with Cincy Local tap Alive. In. If you want to know, if you want to grow. If, if you, you want to know and you want to grow. grow, tap hey. in with Cincy Like Because there's no way that you can get on this app and do nothing if you're a serious individual that mm -hmm. takes your music craft serious. It, it, it's, I hear a lot of cats talk, but it's like when the opportunities to really go further are presented to a lot of cats, they freeze up and they don't go. And I learned that um, 
A lot of people, I don't mind saying they're scared, but they're comfortable, they're comfortable <laughs> in their area or, yeah. or their where they're from because they know that audience or they know that what's going what to expect. And that's what keeps them, I feel like, stagnant or grounded on that end. Right. And it's like, how can you be so grounded when you're wanting to level up? Right. But I, I, and I noticed this, the ones that don't care, put me on any stage, anywhere and ready to take that risk. Those are the ones that I see, you know, really don't have a problem. And I know they're serious and they're ready. Like I, I meet a thousand artists, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in, in two months span, I didn't met. The, the next star and the next, like, why are you doing this person at the same time? Do I have time to invest in every artist that I meet? No, but I can also, uh, I, I can point you in the right directions. I can give you some pointers. I can let you know what's working for my brand and my artists and things like that. And that's what I'm here for. Like just for the culture period, just to get the information to the ones that are really going to use it and need it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you can't help everybody. Everybody not going to listen to you. Well said. Dude will come ask you for advice. Still don't take your advice. Mm-hmm. So you got to come kind of be, you know, not stingy with your information, but just who you, what, what you're breathing life into and what you're helping. Because uh, I'm always a firm believer in become an asset, not a liability. Well said. So you got to be strategic. So saying that, even from a manager's aspect of it, wouldn't you say that would give you a more brighter range to going into being able to channel with these different artists? Say with a platform like Cincy Local and Live, um, mm. what you have in your own profile? Yeah, it like a platform like Cincy Local and Live for a person like myself. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm not the only person that do what I do. It's a lot of my peers and um, people I call associates and friends that can definitely utilize the platform. But speaking for myself, it bridges a a a, a big gap. Because it, it it takes the Google away. It takes the phone call away that I might have had to make to check out a venue or find a venue or ask you when I see you, what's what's going on in Cincinnati or what's going on in Dayton or Columbus or right. where, wherever the venue might be at that y'all have the app um, and that you're promoting. I can now go on there instead of like going through Google. Like I said, now it's just direct for what I'm looking for. Um, comedy, comedy. Um, Food trucks. Um, food trucks. It's, it's just, I've seen apps that did things like this before, but just not as far as catered to the independent music scene, yep. bar, um, up and coming artist um, or talent. So I think that's the greatest part. And then for myself being able to actually look and see other talent on the app that I might want to work with or align my artist with. I, like I said, I do tours. Um, so I might just see artists that's moving and got some good motion and I might reach out to them. I'm a firm believer, bro. I see you popping. I might jump in your inbox. Like, boom, boom. Like it's a lot of rappers. Like I said, not to toot my horn, but a lot of cats come across my profile and when they do their research, they figure out who I am and who I work with. So it's a lot of easier on that conversation. But I, I got a lot of cats that's independent, that's big independent artists right now, like out of Detroit. Like all the Detroit artists that probably cats listen to and look up to, like it's a couple, they, they're the homies, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's just like just building yourself and putting yourself in that position to get the information to ones that need it. That's yeah. I like when I express it, I like to express it by telling people, imagine you kicking it with your significant other, your spouse, your lover, and and it's one of them one nights where you really don't know what's going on right now and you want to tap in. Since he's local and live is that place. Boom. We got such and such doing comedy over here. We got such and such doing jazz over there within Mm -hmm. this smile radius and me and my lady gonna want to go listen to some jazz and you feel me? Yeah. Thank you, Cincy Local yeah. and Live. Yeah. That's how I express it because I done been in that place where it's like, what we about to do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It might be one of them bogus nights where you got to put something together. Put something together. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. This, it's like the this, five, ten mile radius. Boom. Yeah. Right. What is this? And you ain't trying to go far. You let me keep it in this distance. Yeah. You, know what I'm you still yeah. want to compliment baby. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. And I had something like that happen a couple of weeks ago, like where one of my friends was like, dang, we went to this um little spot. They didn't revamp it and made it something out. And they do this once a month, like boom, boom, boom type of thing. So it was kind of like that. Like if the, this was in Columbus, 
But excuse me, yeah, if it was on, if they had the app and it was on there, boom, yeah. it would say that. Oh, we host this once a month for good, boom. you know, vibe, you know, R&B. I forgot it was R&B and something, right and, but it was crazy, but it was like perfect for the app, what y'all talking about, that type of thing. It's really nice because you'll be able to <clears throat> kind of shop through crowds as well, as far as like, hey, this person brings 45 people normally, or this person brings a hundred people. That's the kind of, that's the kind of environment I'm trying to sink into myself tonight. You uh, bring a hundred people. I'm booking you. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm right. booking you. Yes. Nice my friend, my set. friend, if you, come, if come. you bring 100 people, if you bring 95, that's cool. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. I still pay you for a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so we got things in place. We're ready to, we're ready to launch this. Um, we are just tweaking some few more things and we'll we'll have this thing up and ready. Hey, y'all know how we rocking with it. I'm 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 excited. I ain't excited for a lot of shit, but I'm definitely excited about that that platform how it's gonna be able to help me and my brand and my artists. Mm -hmm. Especially with touring. Like I mean local artists we're taking over city the the city of Cincinnati. Once we hit that we're gonna go into Columbus, Cleveland, all this Ohio. Uh Columbus you already got Columbus. I'm just saying y'all taking up Cleveland, Dayton. Y'all got Columbus and so areas all these artists that want to tap into other cities and don't know where the venues are, we got them all on a nice little map for you. You can go, you can select uh, five, 10 mile radius or wherever you want to go and uh, get their pricing, get everything, push notify them and get it going. Crazy, crazy exposure for yourself if you know how to work your phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you know, you know how, how to work, work your, your phone. phone. You know, tap me into the website, tap into the app, Find your next no, local and live event, artists, food trucks, comedy. Yeah, everything that entertainment. You know, you can create a profile, sign up um, an account, upload your social media, your upcoming bookings. You can select who you're trying to book. So if you're a band looking for an artist, if you're a venue looking for an artist, a venue looking for a band, a, com a comedian, whatever it is, you can select how much you're willing to pay that comedian, what date, hit send, and that sends a push notification to whoever has our app that's looking for that in that price range. So artists is this going on since you local and live. Listen, your price is your price. Don't yes. shy away from what you know you want from a person. Go on there and put your price on Cincy Local and Live and let those venues see what it is for you to come. That's another thing. So for that person who's looking for that performer, you can go to Cincy Local and Live and tap and hear that music that you want to hear and check that vibe to see if it even what you want to book someone yeah. for. You know what I mean? That's that's definitely yeah. the vibe for any situation. So I get to know, I have to, I get to listen. I get to know how many numbers you're going to see. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. But to bounce off of what you're saying, you know, don't, don't shortchange yourself, but be be respectful and be mindful of people. Uh, don't be trying to overcharge people and just take people's money. To say that go both ways uh, on the promoter end mm -hmm. and on the on the artist end. They be like, oh, I, I should get paid. You know, show people why you should get paid. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. you, you be realistic. You know what I'm saying with your numbers, man, because. I see a lot of artists talking about how they should get paid and things they should do, but they're not doing the things that these artists that are getting paid that money are doing. Right. Well, they don't have that exposure these artists have, and that's why they're getting paid. And that's why I said, going back, uh, don't shy away from what you feel your worth is. Because right. if you feel that your worth is $200, say that. Let the people know you can get me for two hundred dollars yeah. and be booked. I yeah. need that two hundred. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Thanks. Definitely tap into Cincy Local and Live, Cincy Local and Live's app. Uh, find local and live events, local artists. Preview all them. Uh, book them. Book venues. Find venues. We have exclusive maps. I mean, we're really honing in on our thing, and this is just phase one. We got so much more that we really haven't even shared. Once we have the artist come in and tap in with us. We're going to be able to put a bigger spotlight on you guys than you would even be able to imagine. That's what I'm excited about. Um, I'm excited about networking with all the new artists and people that's going to be be adding themselves because I'm definitely going to be um, on the app searching. Um, 
I'm going to get with my guys over here. You know, I'm going to yes. get with T.Y. and Randall and we're going to create something. Maybe maybe we can get a little code and we promo code for when y'all signed up. Maybe get yeah. y'all something, something like that. Yeah. Uh, but we definitely going to um, push this to the to the maximum extent for, for what it's worth. And I'm definitely excited, like I said, for them and just to be able to work through the app and put my artist on there. I'm definitely, again, excited and can't wait for that. And make sure y'all do get the app and then find me on there too once yes. y'all see this. Yeah, Mr. 365. Mr. 365. It's been a pleasure. Yes, I appreciate you sliding through again. Um, it's always been a pleasure. Uh, your artists are just fucking on fire. Uh, shout out Young Sauce, New Blanco, uh, Sick Sauce. in the Second. Shout out Dat Boy Jizzle. Aaron Staccato. Staccato. Yeah, Staccato. So I appreciate you all. Um, every one of those artists that slide through. Um, Local and live at one step or at one point in time and another. I was gonna say since you mentioned all those names, uh, we going. I got a tour. Yeah. April, April and May, we're, we'll be in we'll be in Columbus. Um, the twenty first and twenty second, we'll be in Columbus on the twenty first. It's starring um, New Blanco, Sauce to God, Sick in the Second, and the new artist I signed, um, Smoke Low. And it's be featuring um, Staccato will be on the Cincinnati show as well. Uh, I got a slew of artists from Cincinnati that locked in for the Columbus show. As I am, um, Double D. Um, but Mr. Flip, it's a, it's just it's gonna be a great time. Any artist that's looking for exposure as well, looking to get into more shows, looking to get into different cities and states, make sure y'all lock in with me, man. You can always reach out to Sissy Local and Live as well if you if you're looking for that exposure, marketing or promotion. We promo USA Music at gmail.com. Um, just get with me on any type of level um, you're trying to take your career to, and sure. we can work it out. Yes, sir. Well All said. All genres of music. All genres. All genres. <laughs> Explore, preview, book. Let's do this. Tap into Cincy Local and Live. I'm your boy, Randall Pink. Mr. 365. Let's get it. Tap in. Yeah.